Hey, what's going on, vapors around the world? Today we have a little bit of a two-part review. First part will be here with the Smoke Tech G150, as it is in the name. It's a 150 watt device. This device also has temp control for nickel, titanium, and stainless steel, if that's your preferable way of vaping. Uh, as it is on the package, as you can see, it is silver and black. That is, in fact, the color of the device inside the packaging, but it also comes in black and red, black and green, and black and gold. A few color options to choose from. Uh, this one, again, is just the box mod itself. There is no tank, but I have a tank on the side that I was using with this particular device that I was excited to test out. It's been out a little while, but it's still one of the newer releases, and you know, it, it, we'll get to it, but it fit perfectly on top of this device. All right, so here we go. You have the Smoke Tech G150, about a one inch screen. You got your adjustment buttons here, left and right for up and down. You have your firing button here on the side. It's got a little bit of a curved design, kind of cool. Uh, as you can tell, there is no battery latch or door on this particular device. And that is because it is an internal battery. It is a 4200 milliamp battery. That will give you roughly seven, eight hours, uh, give or take, plus or minus on that, depending on how heavy you use it, how high the wattage is. But it will definitely sustain you for quite a few hours um, before you have to charge it. All right, it's got a 510 connection right here. It's uh, 75 millimeters in height. It is 49 millimeters in width. And then here it is 29 millimeters. So, fair, so as you can tell, it's a rather small device. It's not real big, but it packs a good punch with 150 watts. I uh, really enjoyed using this. Uh, it was fluent, it worked well, power went straight to the, the coil, no issues, no connection issues. I didn't have any issues adjusting the wattage or just playing with the settings. Uh, really overall, I'm happy with it. It's a nice little device with enough power to use most tanks on unless you're going up to the super sub-ohm tanks, you know, running like a TFE-12 or something like that. You know, obviously this wouldn't be ideal, but for the tank that I have today that I tested with this device, it was perfect. All right, so to turn it on, it's a standard uh, operation procedure. One, two, three, four, five. That will go ahead and start up the device. There you go. Screen, again, is about one inch. Uh, as you can tell, it's basically, it's a mirror image of the Alien and the GX24. I like the display. It, the biggest difference, and really the only difference, would be the battery meter. It just has one, being that it is an only, an internal battery, so there's no switching batteries in and out. Which, for those of you that don't want to spend the extra money on batteries and a external charger, that's perfect. Uh, if you hit it three times, one, two, three, it will let you cycle through the different options, mode, puffs, and you can change settings, so let's leave it on there. You know, screen time, you can adjust that if uh, you want to shut off after X amount of time, you, know, you can adjust this here, shuts off after, oh, 55 seconds or you can leave it at standard factory setting of 60 seconds if you prefer all right one two three let's go back into settings takes a few seconds to uh, switch all right so screen lock you got uh, contrast you can change the contrast of the screen just your know, ohms download that's going to be firmware so there you go there's not a whole lot in there it's 
pretty straightforward just a couple minutes of playing around with it and you pretty much have it down pat on what you can do with the settings now going back into it mode if we leave it there give it a few seconds to switch you can be in memory watts temp all of all of us that are used to using higher wattage devices understand what watts are. This is the most common use. We got stainless steel, we got nickel, titanium. With the temp control on this particular device, it goes from 200 to 600 degrees Fahrenheit. Uh, it's most common that people stay within the range of around 275 to 480 uh, degrees Fahrenheit that's most common but uh, give you a little example here we go it goes up in increments once you get to 600 it just wraps right back around again all right let's go back into wattage now nothing against uh, temp control it really can be a, a pleasant experience. It's been proven to help the longevity of your coil because it runs at a more consistent basis as far as temperature goes. And because it's more consistent on that, it also can improve your battery life. So if you're not doing it, it's something you can look into. It's another coil option you could use depending on the tank you have if they offer temp control coils. Alright.